Katie from What Katie Did, and today I'm talking corsets. Now, recently I was asked to be involved in an article called, um, along the lines of, I stay slim and trim by wearing a corset. And you might have noticed I've got my little spiky cactus here, and um, I have a love-hate relationship with cacti. I know they're bad for feng shui because they're all spiky, and spiky things aren't good, but this totally represents my mood today when it comes to um, talking about staying slim and trim by wearing a corset. Um, as you can probably tell, when, when we got this email, it actually went down like a lead balloon at what Katie did, but I'm, I'm going to address it and, t and tell you what I think. When corsets, when corsets or waist trainers started to really, really take off in 2015, it was advised that by wearing a, a neoprene waist trainer, it would help you lose weight. And the idea was to wear a neoprene waist trainer at, at the gym and it would help you sweat and lose weight and possibly reduce your waist. Um, Reducing your waist, well, that's not going to happen because when you look at the, the neoprene waist trainers, they're actually very straight up and down. So unless it actually gives you an hourglass shape when you're wearing it, it's not going to do anything at all. And the, the sweat, um, after your workout, because you sweat, it might feel looser, but that's because it's, it's all slippery. Um, the big issue I have with waist trainers is that if you wear them when you're working out, they're actually supporting your back muscles, your core muscles, and the whole idea of working out is to, to strengthen your core muscles. So if, if anything, it's, it's, not, it's not damaging your body as such, but it's not actually allowing you to exercise your muscles as, as they're designed to be exercised when you're, when you're working out. So really, it defeats the whole object. One, one of the first things you need to look at is if you're going to wear a corset every day like, like I do, is I do a lot of yoga and I do a lot of back exercises and, and work on my back muscles and core muscles to, to keep them nice and strong. And I, obviously I don't wear a corset when I'm doing this, but it's, you do, you, if you're wearing a corset um, very, very frequently, you do, you do need to work your core muscles to keep them strong. So, so the whole idea of wearing a waist trainer to work out is it's just alien to me. The second idea about staying slim and trim by wearing a corset is that um, corsets restrict your eating. Now, this is, this is quite amusing to me because whenever I go out to dinner and I'm wearing, and I'm wearing a corset, people always say to me, my, my you, you ate a lot there. And I don't know whether it's because um, I ate a lot because cause I do I, I frequently eat more than any of everyone else at the table, um, or I don't know whether it's because just I eat a lot, or whether it's because I eat a lot and they know I'm wearing a corset. But it is a, it is a really like, my gosh, you're, you're, you've eaten a lot there. Um, this goes back to my family background, where our family motto is, it's the quick or the hungry in this household. But um, yes, you can eat in a corset. Uh, the, when you first wear a corset, your body does take a while to adjust to it. So, so say you're wearing a, saying you want to try the corset diet, or you want to stay slim and trim by wearing a corset. If you, if you, if it's part of a diet plan, when you first put a corset on, it might feel restrictive, or it will feel restrictive, and um, you might feel that you're you're eating less. But this is, this is going to be for a short term period like until your body adjusts and we're talking like m a matter of days you might and also if you're buying a corset simply to help you lose weight it will also be some kind of placebo effect because you'll you've bought this fancy new corset you're on your new diet you put your corset on aren't you doing well the fact that you're not eating so much has nothing to do with the actual corset it's to do with the fact that you've invested in the corset and it is your your new diet plan for example, if you have a gastric bypass, which um, makes your stomach very, very small, so you can so you can eat less, it's still possible to eat a huge amount of calories in the form of, you know, chocolate and ice cream and high calorie things that take up a small amount of room. And exactly the same is happens when you wear a corset. You can still eat chocolate and things like that and candy that takes up a small amount of room and, and get those calories in. Me, personally, for, for lunch every day, I eat a huge salad and I have um, a couple pieces of fruit. And it, it, I'm just letting you know this because it, take, it is a big bowl and I eat it and I eat it in my corset and I feel fine and, and it doesn't cause me any discomfort at all. 
Now, what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't eat my Christmas dinner in a corset. I, I was more religious about wearing corsets a few years ago, and on Christmas Day I did actually wear my corset in the morning, but I still took it off for, for Christmas dinner. And so if you are going for a full blowout dinner, then yes, the corset would would probably cause you, cause you discomfort, even if you were used to it. But if that's the case, then you, then you just undo the laces at the back. And, and this is the issue with corsets and the so-called corset diet, is if, if it does cause you any discomfort, you just loosen it at the back. There's no, there's no issue. And the other thing is, it's not going to stop you eating anything in the first place because the discomfort doesn't come until after you've eaten it. And, and, and this is what I find. If I have a big, huge meal, it might be that I need to loosen my corset. Like, it'll be like a centimetre. It'll be a tiny amount. But it won't be until like half an hour after I've finished eating. So then, by then, you've eaten it and it's too late. So the whole idea of um, corset stopping you eating is, is not really true at all. So the third part of wearing a corset and keeping you slim and trim is the, actual, the corset that redefines your waistline. Now, I've been wearing a corset daily for several years now, and I've always had a defined waist, but when I take my corset off, there isn't a dramatic difference between my waistline before I started wearing corsets and my waistline now. Um, there is a bit of controversy here because this does depend on, on your body shape. Now, I've, never, I've always carried my weight on, on my hips and thighs, not, not on my waist. And I, from personal experience with working with other people and observing their, their journeys while wearing corsets, if you do carry more weight, if you do have more body fat on your torso um, and you wear a corset daily, it, it would make sense to me, and I have seen it happen, that the, the fat cells actually shrink in that area. And you'll, you'll have to bear with me with this, because if you have, if you take a look at liposuction or liposuction or however you pronounce it, you're, you're born with a certain amount of fat cells. And when you put on weight, the fat cells grow. And when you lose weight, the, the fat cells shrink. But you have the same amount of fat cells throughout, throughout your lifetime. They, they don't multiply or decrease. It's just the size changes. And when you have liposuction, so you, say you're going to have liposuction on your, on your waist, Basically, they, they suck out those fat, fat cells, so you, you will never put on weight on your waist again because you've had those fat cells sucked out. Instead, you'll, you'll put on weight in another part of your body, for example, your hips and thighs. Now, if you're wearing a corset, the way... Um, now, I'm not medi medically trained, but from looking at people, people I've been following and people I've spoken to, um, it, it seems to me that if you put your body under a certain amount of pressure for an awful long time, then it would make sense that the fat cells in that area shrink and they expand somewhere else if you're not actually losing weight somewhere else. Um, if you are on a diet and you are losing weight, then it would make sense that the fat cells around your waist would shrink. And one of my thinkings behind this is if you look if you wear a wedding ring or you've been married for a long time you see you can see the indent on your finger and you haven't lost weight on your finger it's just changed because it's constantly got something around it which is not constricting it seriously but but constricting it in the same the same way as when I was little I can remember seeing old ladies and you could see their shoulders were grooved by the bra straps so so it, it would make sense to me that um if you have a lot of abdominal fat, that if you were wearing a corset, that 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 would help with that. And when I, I'm I'm kind of very reserved in saying this because you would have to wear a corset for at least three months every day. And the people, the people I know who've done this, have actually worn their corset 24 hours a day for six months. So so we're talking about a long, a, a huge long-term experiment with this to see. And to to me, to actually do that is is really quite extreme. I mean, there, there are a lot of easier options out there than, than sleeping in a corset for six months and wearing a corset 23-7 for six months. Uh, of course, when you stop wearing a corset, your body will gradually go back to, to the way it was before. And um, so any, any change you do have, have will be temporary. There were a lot of waist training companies in the past uh, well, who still now actually say, you know, if you wear this waist trainer, you'll lose X amount of inches um, by the end of the month. And 
Yes, you will while you're wearing the waist trainer or the corset. As soon as you take it off, your body returns to normal. And um, the only real difference I've found with my body is my actual rib cage, because um, if your rib cage is constantly under compression, then I find that I'm actually having less fat on my rib cage than I used to have. And also it, it is slightly more tapered than it, it used to be. So as far as my waist and my stomach are concerned, that's, that's the same. It's just my rib cage. And I'm sure when it comes to rib cages, that's really not, not part of your top 10, 10 things to worry about. I've already spoken about how I can eat in a corset and it doesn't restrict me from my day-to-day -day life. When, when I'm interviewed about corsets, um, I always say that I walk to work and I walk to work um, across countryside. It's two, that, two miles to work and two miles back and I do it in a corset and I do it throughout the year and I have no discomfort at all and it's comfortable. Um, the, so I guess that's the answer to, to can you breathe in a corset? Yes, I can breathe in a corset. I wouldn't run a marathon in a corset um, if I was going to go for a hike up the Malvern Hills or over the coastal path in Cornwall. I, I wouldn't be wearing a corset because I know I'd be breathing heavily. But for, for normal walking and quite extensive walking, yes, I can do that in a corset with no problems. And uh, we've got the dog coming to say hello now. I don't know whether you can see her. So the question about breathing in corsets, and I'm just mentioning this because I know Kim Kardashian, she, it says in her article when she wore her Terry Moogler uh, Mr. Pearl corset for the Met Ball a few months ago, she said she actually had um, breathing lessons from Mr. Pearl. And if you look at her corset she wore, it was an overbus corset, and the overbus corset does constrict your rib cage more. So you are breathing a lot higher up. And since I was thinking about doing this film, I was thinking about, thinking about my breathing. And I don't know whether my breathing has changed over the year, but I wear an underbus corset and I can breathe very, very deeply in this corset. When you, when you look at your lungs, um, my corset finishes here, but my lungs are actually here to here. And for, for normal day-to-day -day activities, you only use a very small amount of your lung capacity anyway. So, so by wearing an underbus corset, yes, your lungs are going to be slightly compressed, but your still going to be able to breathe fully if your corset fits well. You should be able to breathe fully and you should be able to go about your day-to-day -day activities with no, with no problems at all. So if you are thinking about investing in a corset to stay slim and trim, I'd say forget that idea. But if you are captivated by the shape that corsets give you and you do want to try one, then, then please do, do go ahead. If you do have any questions about corsets, please let me know below and I'll catch up with you soon. So take care.